Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to the Hardcore Survival. Um, today, there's big plans, there are big plans. Um, the first one is to construct a bulleted emerald beacon, which is which will be very nice. Uh, I need to figure out a place to put that first, uh, but yeah, I'll do that soon. And the second thing is get full netherite everything, so my tools, my weapons, both swords, um, all my armor. And I figured out to do that, I need 36 ancient debris, which seems like a lot, considering how rare it is, and it sounds like it's going to take a long time to do both of those things, considering my progress in the last episode. But I have been hard at work, and I have a lot of stuff now. So, oh, I have source speed on my diamond boots now, which is pretty cool. First thing, other than that, I want to show is this. I have a little... I have a shulker box with stuff in it, just useful stuff, so fireworks in case I run out of these, a diamond pickaxe in case this, if I accidentally let it break or something, flint and steel, if I ever want to light another portal, uh, shears, you know, just in case, arrows in case I misplace this arrow, a saddle if I come across a horse or something else that I want to put a saddle on, I don't know, but yeah, um, if I think of anything useful that's going to be in there, uh, I'll put it in there. Um, the second thing is... The beacon, and the glass, and the emerald blocks. I've been doing a lot of trading. I'm pretty sure this is enough. Two stacks plus 36 blocks of emeralds to make a full tiered, what is it, five tiers of the beacon, like the full pyramid. Um, and the extra emerald is to actually activate it. Uh, these three stacks of blocks of a decoration, well, and the glowstone. They're for, they're for decoration around the beacon. Um, and... Yes, uh... These beds, I have 7 there and 27 more there. That's because that's how I'm going to mine for ancient debris. Um, I'm going to use bed mining. Hopefully I don't blow myself up. The cobblestone is to help with that. Um, but before I do that, I need to get another glass. And looks like I need to sleep too. So, <clears throat> first thing I need to do... Oh, by the way, yes. If I get both of those things done by the end of today's episode, there's a strong possibility there's a world download in the description. So you can download this world, play it for yourself, or do whatever you want on it. Just check it out. Um, Yeah, just look around. Do whatever you want in it. Oh yeah, first things first is a location for the beacon. I don't want to put it right in the centre of my house. Um... I don't know actually, maybe. Maybe I could have it coming out of here. No, I think this is underneath the enchant enchanting table, so I'm not going to do that. I don't want to have it coming out of the barn because that's kind of random or over there. The other portal is too far away. That's also too far away. I'm thinking I kind of just have it either here, right here, between this like L shape of the house, or between these three and have it right here. Those are my two choices right now, I think. <clears throat> and I'm going to put it at bedrock level. Well, almost bedrock. Diamond level. I think I will put it between these. Between all three houses. Uh, why should I... Hmm. Take... Here, maybe? If I dig down... Oh, that's fast. Take a 2x2 two two down. Oh, I have silk touched on it. I don't want the cross blocks. Just taking up space in my inventory. So if I dig down like this, all the way to diamond level. And then I can build the beacon and decorate it. And then I'll just fill all this back up, well, one of them back up. And yeah, put glass in the other one. And it should be good. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna skip me mining all this out and building the beacon and stuff, so, yeah. Alright, the beacon is fully constructed. Uh, altered beacon. I'm just gonna put this, where does it go, here? Looks like there. Just make sure, yep. And activate haste, haste 2. Bring home the beacon. Construct and place a beacon, bring the beacon to full power. 
And haste too. Okay, there we go. That's much better. Uh, I wanted to activate this before I dug everything out and uh, decorated it because look how much quicker this is. Look how much easier. So good. Okay, yeah, but now I'm gonna I'm gonna skip a little bit again because I'm I'm just gonna decorate this, make it look a bit nicer, add some lighting, and I'll see you when that's done. All right, it is done. It is decorated. I think it looks pretty okay. Uh, these little door-like things are areas that I can go out because I got haste for a reason. It's so I can, you know, do the quick haste to efficiency five mining and just break blocks instantly, and like just mine in a really big area for diamonds. Um, if I ever want to do that, I've got the doors to do that. Um, but now I just need to add the finishing touches, which. I need to be up there for. Um, I think it looks okay. Yeah, a little glowstone in the roof as well. Uh, can I do this? Oh, yep. But I need to <sighs> land there because I need to add the stained glass there, and then I need to build up. Cobblestone's fine. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite the distance. I needed to get quite a bit more polished andesite and granite for that, by the way. A stack wasn't nearly enough, especially the andesite. Yeah. Uh, uh, we'll fill that in. And then, glass, so I don't just fall to my death. Cool. That's that done. That's the full tape beacon done. Now, I'll, I'll just put these blocks away. This cobblestone and this redstone and the dirt. Actually, I don't need half of that dirt. Cobblestone there. Dirt there. Redstone there. Okay, now. Now, now, now. Dangerous bit. Ancient debris. Oh yeah, this needs repairing as well. Yeah, I said in the intro, but if I accidentally break this, I have that spare pickaxe. I, I wasn't even considering that when I was building that room. It's nearly broke. So before I mine for ancient debris, which by the way, I think the most common is level 15. I'm currently at 65, so that's going to be, yeah, awkward to get down to. They don't fall into lava, but yeah, I th is this the soul speed that's doing it? What is this? I'll get rid of that. Is this soul? So this never happened before. It's because I, if I stand ne next to the edge of soul sand, it pushes me off. And there's these little effects there of souls. Is that because of soul speed? Does that does it push you off? Is it supposed to do that? Like, hey, okay, watch. I I'm not touching anything there. It just pushes me off. Is it supposed to? Is it a bug? Or what? It, it does it at every edge of Soul Sand. I don't know why. Yeah, anyway, I need to repair this pick and then go back into the nether so I can mine for ancient debris. So I'm gonna repair it. And then get back to the nether, and yeah, I'll be back. Okay, that never takes long at all, so that's pretty good. So, 36 ancient debris. This might take a while, but I did look up. Um, apparently, the average debris per chunk is 1.63, which is quite high. That's so... Theoretically, it should, because I need 36, it should only take me about 22 chunks worth of mining, which with beds isn't that much. It's like 22 beds, isn't it? They blow up about a chunk, right? Um, 
problem is I'm, I've, I've never bed mined in the nether, so this could go very, very wrong. I don't know if... Because with creepers and stuff, you can put, like, a block between you and the explosion. Does just putting a block there save you from the bedrock explosion? I think it does. Oh, look, black rock. Uh, place this with that. So, I'm getting down to level 14, because the most common is 15, but beds blow up a, a large area, so... Just covering my bases. I think the most common is actually be between 15 and 14, so... Yeah, that's why I'm going to 14. Um... But I'm not gonna make you guys watch... Watch me just blow stuff up. I'm just gonna be doing... Like, I'll, I'll do that, and I'll put one down, and then I'll put a block there, and, and then hopefully I won't die from this. Yeah, okay, that's all I'm going to be doing for a while. Um, no, no ancient debris so far, which is expected. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be doing that for a while, until, probably until I run out of beds. Um, and I will be back when I... Either have enough ancient to be or run out of beds. I found my first piece. It only took like seven beds. I might get less ancient debris than I originally thought. I also want to get gold because obviously to make another right you need gold. And I'm running a little low at home. Yeah, this is the first piece. Uh, let's throw out those, this. Mine pretty quick. Hidden in the depths. Ancient debris. I'm saying ancient debris. Cool. I'm gonna keep going. And a vein of two of them. And yeah, this is this is way less common than I thought it was. Um, I still only got one, and I've used quite a lot more beds. And I've only had two near-death experiences, which is pretty good. Um. Oh wow. Okay. There's no. There we go. Three. A three for one. So we have four. That's that's enough for one netherite. Cool. Very cool. Alright, I am now out of beds completely and I only have five ancient debris, which is only enough for one netherite. So I want more. I'm gonna mine with this pickaxe and not break this one. Uh yeah, I'm gonna keep mine for a little bit. Um, and hopefully I don't die. See how much ancient debris I can get. I'm sure I'm sure I've missed some as well. Like when I run back through these tunnels, I might find another. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Ah, uh, the pickaxe of this dur the durability of this pickaxe is now at one, and I've had no luck. Unfortunately, I'm still up to. Give me weather noises. I'm still up to five debris. I'm gonna run back through the uh, explosions that I did to see if we'll find any more. And if not, well, not much I can do, is there? There's no point putting that in there. Uh, nope, give me that. Got all this netherrack, I don't need it. Yeah, let's head back. So, I just went to the end and repaired my pickaxe. I need to sleep. And you might have just seen that on the way back. I did. I missed a lot of ancient debris. I was right. I missed more than I found on the way there. I yeah. On the way back, I found seven more. So we have thirteen ancient debris. Um, need to get that smelting. Um, there we go. And then just clean out my inventory. Put that in there. Uh, build these. Gold ingots. There we go. Don't like that, but that's fine. Shulker box. Uh, I can go. I can go in valuables. Why not? And I think that's everything now. I think it is. Now we just need. To oh yes, we need to make the smithing table, don't we? So. Two of that, and I think it's four planks. Yes. 
I know the smithing table's in there, but they're decoration, I'm not... Can't use them. Uh, I'll put it there, why not? I don't know where else. Now... Which... Which pieces do we upgrade? What... What things do we upgrade? So, we have... Enough for, I think, three? Yes. Twelve gold... And... They're the right. Oh, it's good to look at. It's nice. Can go in there. Uh, what do we upgrade? So, just play no because I'm gonna be using my elytra most of the time. Leggings, strong possibility, yes. Helmet, also, actually, maybe not the helmet because if I want to go to a bastion. I need to wear something gold so the piglins don't attack me, right? So I would either obviously wear the helmet or the boots, but the boots have soul speed and feather fall in. Uh, they're really useful. So I think I'd wear a gold helmet. And maybe not the helmet, maybe the pants, boots and the pickaxe? Or the sword? Or a hoe? A netherite? No, I'm not making a netherite hoe. Yeah, I think the leggings and boots and the pickaxe. I think. This needs still needs on breaking three, but the right pickaxe. Hold on, what was the that's ten attack damage. That's eleven. One more. God damn. It doesn't look that great because I'm still wearing diamond helmet and elytra, but uh, yeah, I need a little more netherite. True. But I think that's good. Netherite leggings, netherite boots, and a netherite pickaxe. That's weird to look at. That's the first time I've just seen something better than diamond and vanilla Minecraft. Netherite. That is strange. What's in here? Just stuff, okay. Um, can I go down the ladder, please? Hello, thank you. I think that's pretty much it for this playthrough. Um, I could get the rest of Netherite gear, but at this point, it's just me mining more, and it doesn't make a difference because what am I going to do with it? I could fight the Ender Dragon again, or the Wither again, or you know, the Elder Guardian, but. Again, the Elder Guardian only drops Sponge. You only get Sponge from him. I've killed the Wither already, I've killed the Ender Dragon already, it's not going to mean anything, I'm not going to get anything from them. I don't really see where I would go at this point, so I think the world download will be in the description if you want to play it for yourself, if you want to just check out the world. Um, and yeah, this might be the end of the hardcore playthrough. I could come back every, like you know if if I really want some to do something but if I want to explore a bastion but yeah I think for now this is going to be the, the end so thank you so much for watching your support really 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 means a lot uh I hope you enjoyed if you liked the video be sure to like if you uh really like the video and want to see future playthroughs or custom maps or any other content that I upload subscribe I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.